Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Prince of Persia games for the Nintendo GameCube and PS2. Prince of Persia The Sands of Time is an example of a game well done. I mean, it's almost 20 years since the game was released and replaying a portion of it now to record for this video, I can say that this game is timeless. It's still as good as back then. You play as the prince and you get to do lots of acrobatics to platform from one place to another. You can also wall run the signature moves of the prince. In combat everything is intuitive and it feels just right, though the combat is a little bit plain, but it still feels good. The story is well written and with the nice graphics the game is even better. Also they introduced Princess Farah, which can stand her own ground. Finally you don't have escort missions, where you have to protect the damsel in distress, whether it is a man, a woman, or machine, or chopper, or non-binary, whatever, whatever it is, you know how annoying escort missions can be. Well, it's not the case with Princess Farah. She stands her own ground and actually helps you beat up enemies. Also in this game, you get the ability to control the sense of time. And controlling time is really useful, for example if you screw up and die, you can rewind time and figure out another way. This game is a total 10 out of 10. If you've never played The Sands of Time, just do it. It's, it's worth it. Prince of Persia Warrior Within takes place 7 years after The Sands of Time. Now the prince wants to go back in time to destroy The Sands of Time. The game is filled with heavy metal in the background, the prince looks emo, but the gameplay remains the same. Awesome. The prince has more moves in combat, actually way more moves. If the sense of time has a very plain combat, now Warrior Within focuses on combat and gives the prince more moves, and well the combat is way better in this game. Spaces are bigger, you get again to platform in the satisfying way specific to the Prince of Persia game. It's a solid game and an awesome game. Though it still doesn't reach the high stakes sense of time raises, at least, I mean, for me. It's close, but not there. But it's still awesome and I will still recommend you play the game. It's, it's just awesome. And Prince of Persia The Two Thrones is the third part of the story. Now the prince wants to go back to his home turf, Babylon, and chill. But he finds his home under attack. He also gets consumed by the evil prince, so you will be able to play as both the prince and the evil prince, like some sort of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The, they almost play the same. The only difference is that the evil prince looks like this and instead of this and that he has a sword that is linked to a chain so that you can do stuff like this or this. Also they added the feature to stealth kill and it's a great idea since it gives more flow to the game and the boss battles are more interesting than in Warrior Within and are more diverse and more creative. You also get this carriage sections that give more spice to the game. It's a solid and awesome game. And as a conclusion, I recommend you all three Prince of Persia games for the Nintendo GameCube. They are awesome and must plays. If you haven't tried any of the games, just try them. They, they are awesome. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!